DMC4 Guide to Installation. This guide explains how to install the modules, circuit breakers, wiring looms, and insulating caps in the Philips Dynalite DMC4 Multipurpose Modular Controller. For the first step on how you can mount the DMC4 enclosure unit, please view the DMC4 introduction video. Installing the power supply module. The power supply module is mounted in the middle section of the enclosure. Connect the 24 VDC Class 2 SELV supply plug to the two-way socket underneath the DMC communications bus socket. Note that the internal power supply is derived from phase L1. Locate the tab and slide the module into position. Secure the module using the fixing screw on the right. The unit should sit securely with no physical movement. For correct operation of the unit, ensure that the supply on phase L1 is always present. Terminate the supply group of the wiring loom into the left-hand side of the terminals. Check all terminal screws are properly tightened. Terminate the supply into the right-hand side of the terminals and to the earth bar on the right-hand side of the enclosure. Always recheck all terminal screws are properly tightened. Advice on connecting the wiring loom is included later in this video. Installing the DCM Dynet Communications Module. The DCM Dynet Module is mounted in the bottom section of the enclosure below the high voltage barrier. Connect the control ribbon cable from the module to the DMC Communications Bus. Align the mounting tab with its slot on the left and slide the module into position. Secure the module using the fixed screw on the right. The unit should sit securely with no movement. Control Module Installation A variety of control modules provide simultaneous control of multiple load types and capacities. Connect the SELV control ribbon cable between the module and the DMC communications bus. Locate the tab and slide into position. Secure the module using the fixing screw on the right. The unit should sit securely with no physical movement. Mount the circuit breakers. Use only the circuit breakers provided in the installation kit. Mount them so that they are isolated when switched towards the output side. Terminate the output wires from the control module into the right side of the circuit breakers. Terminate the corresponding module group of the wiring loom into the left side of the circuit breakers. Recheck all terminal screws and tighten. The control module installation is now complete. The lighting load groups can be terminated into the module's output terminals. At full capacity, space in the cable bay may become limited, so cable management will be required. All wiring should comply with local wiring rules and regulations. Connecting the wiring loom. The DMC4 wiring loom is designed to ensure correct wiring from the power supply module to the control modules. The terminations for each module are held in the required order with clearly labeled PCB. Make sure the labels on each PCB corresponds to the wiring on each module Use only the wiring loom supplied with the unit and do not break or modify the loom in any way. For modules requiring termination, remove the protective caps from the wires before terminating to the load and supply modules. Do not discard the caps. For empty module locations, 
leave the corresponding protective caps on the loom. Ensure any unused cables are safely isolated, for example, when a module is removed or when a module does not require connections, such as an FR type DMD316 module. Installing insulating caps. All unused cables should be safely terminated with protective caps. Leaving cables exposed is very dangerous. Please refer to the accompanying documentation or distributor's website for further information. For each exposed cable, twist on an insulating cap. Ensure that the cap covers the entire terminal, including the white spacers on the cable. The cap should go all the way down to the PCB. Each cap should be tightly attached. Once all exposed cables are covered, check to ensure that the cap does not come off or fall off easily. Attaching the front covers. Check and tighten all terminals. Remove the required knockouts on the top front cover plate. Then replace the top front cover on the unit and make sure all screws are tightened securely. Cover any exposed knockouts with suitable plastic seals. Attach the bottom front cover plate. Place the labels that were provided with the modules onto the cover to indicate which modules are installed in each location, including the communications module overlay. Remove the port knock out if access is required. If it is necessary to energize load circuits before connecting control cables, you can replace the cover and energize the device immediately as the default factory program is to have all channels set to a 100% output. This device should be de-energized before terminating the control and data cables or disconnecting the comms module. Do not leave the front cover off for any length of time after the installation. Excessive dust can interfere with cooling. This completes the video for the installation of the DMC4. Thanks for watching.